So the last Fall Guys color challenge I did was Fall Guys, but I can't touch yellow. That one was so hard that I genuinely couldn't even complete it. So let's see if I can complete this color challenge. Today, I'm gonna try to win a game without touching the color orange. This is pretty fitting for October. Now I know what you're thinking. The podium that the Fall Guy is standing on in the main menu is orange. And no, that obviously does not count because I'm not playing a game yet. Anyways, let's get started. Started. This might be easy. This might be hard. I honestly have no idea what to expect with this one All right starting out. We got skyline stumble for the first round I don't think there's any orange in this level. I mean, why would there be the only colors in this level are pretty much just blue purple and green and there is some yellow but yeah I don't think there's any orange so we should be fine and I'm in the lead right now. I'm in first so I should qualify pretty quickly All right, just gotta wait for this thing can the wall move? Okay, there we go. All right, you made it through. Still, I don't see any orange. And there's not even any orange on this wall. Yeah, we'll be completely fine. Okay, take me to the finish. Let's go. That was easy. No orange at all. Oh, okay. Second round, we got penguin pool party. This is so bad. <laughs> this is terrible. I can't qual. Oh my god. I thought this level was vaulted. But I think it did get unvaulted in the recent Fall Force update. There's nothing I can do here because the actual penguins that I have to grab are orange. And that's the only way to qualify. You have to hold them to get points. So this is an automatic L. All right, I guess I have to leave then. All right, we're back in. This time we got Speed Slider for the first round. Now, there is some orange in this level, but not that much. I know that there's only two places in this level that are orange. I think. There's the platform at the top, that platform up there. If I fall, I'm gonna respawn and land on that platform. So I have to make sure I qualify without respawning at all. And if I do that, I should be fine. However, there is one other spot with orange. I can't do the skip here and you'll see why. Okay, I'm gonna go all the way to the end. I have to go normally. I can't take any skips. I'm gonna show you why in a second here. Look, the platform at the bottom this entire bottom ring is orange underneath the slime. So I have to jump straight to the finish. There we go. Because yeah, all that platform underneath the slime down there is orange. But there we go, we qualified. I'm glad I had that memorized. I play a lot of speed slider. All right, we got cube corruption for the second round. Now, I don't think there's any orange on this level. Also, did they change the background? The background used to be different. Why is it not the digital background anymore? Do you guys notice that? It's the legacy season one background now. What on earth? That makes no sense. It's like merged between two themes, the classic theme and the digital theme. That's trippy to look at. Anyways, so far I haven't seen any orange, so I should be fine. Okay, so just slide down here. They changed the look of this level completely. This level looks so weird now. All right, jump into the finish and there we go. We qualified without touching any orange. We made it past two rounds now. We're actually making some progress. No, dude. For the third round, we got tiptoe. Wait, is this possible? Hold up a second. Wait a minute. Before the tiles get activated, they are orange. However, when they are activated, they're yellow. So if I just don't guess any of the tiles and only follow the crowd, I think I should be fine. I just have to make sure that I'm on the yellow tiles. I got scared for a sec because I thought this was gonna be an automatic L, but I think I actually can qualify. I have to stay with the crowd at all times though, because the tiles do fade to orange after a while. So I have to make sure I'm on tiles constantly. Okay, come on, go in. Okay, that's just the skill issue. What even ha I just got severely body blocked. I guess that's what happens when you stay in the middle of a crowd. All right, we're back in. This time we got data streams for the first round. Now, I don't think there's any orange here because just like Cube Corruption, this is the digital theme. And the digital theme, I don't think it has any orange in it. All right, yeah, so far so good. Also, yeah, these digital levels, they just look so weird now. I don't know how I feel about the new background. Maybe that's a glitch or something because I know the digital background still exists. Like I've seen it in creative recently. So this must be a bug, like th this can't be intentional. It's so weird. All right, we should qualify. There we go, easy. 
All right, here we go. Second round, we got Jump Club. I don't see any orange on the platform. I think we're good. This stuff over here is yellow. So there's no orange in this level either. All I gotta do is survive. And this is the one bar variation. This is literally easy, it's cakewalk. There we go, we qualified. Light work. Bean Hill Zone? Wasn't this vaulted? Did this get unvaulted recently too? I haven't played this in so long. It's been months since I've gotten this in solo show. Well, I don't think there's any orange in this level. The hoops are gold. Does that count as orange? I don't think it does. Yeah, I see a lot of brown and I see a lot of gold in this level, but no orange. Yeah, I think I'm fine. See this wall right here, this is brown. This is very clearly brown. Dude, it's been so long. I barely even remember how to play this. I don't even know if I'm gonna qualify normally. Oh, that pipe is orange. I have to avoid that pipe. All right, I got 17 rings so far. 19? Okay, I just need one more. There we go, we qualified, easy. Oh, there we go. We made it to the final already, but we got hexagon. This might be a problem. There's an entire orange layer in this level, but I don't think I need to touch it. So this first layer down here is yellow. All I have to do is just try to skip that orange layer. You know what? What I might do is I might just try to jump down. That might be smart. Okay, so now I'm below the orange layer, so I don't even have to worry about it anymore. Now I just need to win. I'm not sure how sweaty this lobby is. I noticed that people were taking kinda long to die in that jump club. So this lobby isn't necessarily bad. Ooh, actually, I have this entire blue island to myself. Oh, actually, someone just fell right with me. I'm gonna grief him. Nope. Okay. We're still good. I'm on the yellow layer now. See, the thing is, I know I have a bunch of crowns and everything, and a lot of you are probably thinking, oh, well, you're definitely gonna win this. You'd be surprised. Like, even for as long as I've been playing Fall Guys for, when it comes down to Hexagon, anything can happen. Because if you make one mistake, that can mess up the whole game. All right, we won though. Okay, nice. And again, I'm standing on the orange podium in the winning, but again, that doesn't count because that's not actually me playing. So yeah, we won a game of Fall Guys without touching the color orange. This might be one of the last Fall Guys color challenges I do because there's not really any colors left. I've done basically every single color there is. Unless I started to go for more specific colors like violet or aquamarine or something. But other than that, I've done basically everything. What I might do is I might do that thing where I get a wheel and the wheel has every color on it and I spin the wheel and whatever the wheel lands on, I have to win without that color. So it would be like all colors in one video. Let me know if you guys wanna see that. I also might redo some of the other colors that I failed because when I did Fall Guys But I Can't Touch Blue, I didn't complete that one. I also didn't complete the yellow challenge. And I think the purple challenge, I also failed by accident and I didn't even realize. So yeah, I might redo those. Let me know what you guys wanna see in the comments. Cause these color challenge videos are pretty fun to make. I'll keep making them if I can. 